Hello, and welcome to Weekend Projects, a Make Magazine video podcast. I'm Bree Pettis, and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. Now, Halloween is coming, and um, the recent Craft Magazine came out. How do these connect? Well, I was looking in the Craft Magazine, which is the premier issue, and, um, and you should totally subscribe. And I was looking at this article about making an electric tank top, which is basically making a shirt that has a programmable LED display. Well, I'm personally never going to make one of those, but I thought, you know, maybe it would be really cool to have a pumpkin with a programmable LED display. And so I ordered up some parts, I got a pumpkin, and we're going to scoop it out and see what we can make happen here. In the t-shirt, they solve the problem of how to connect up all the LEDs by having conductive thread on one side going horizontal and conductive thread going on the back side going vertical. And so um, that way you can just connect them all up and you have a network of grids of how to connect up the LEDs. Well, I've got uh, the LEDs and I've got this Lexan and I've put a grid on here so I know exactly where I want everything to go. And then I've drilled a little through the um, through the Lexan so that I can go ahead and just put the LEDs through here and attach them pretty easily. All right, I'm just getting these all finished getting soldered up. And this is the back side and then I'll do the front side next. And these are all the, I'm soldering all the columns and then I'm gonna solder all the horizontal ones next. I've got all the soldering done. That took actually a long time to do, um, let's see, a lot of LEDs, both sides, soldering them all up. And now I've got to go ahead and I've got to program the microchip. And uh, I'll put, once I've got it programmed, I'll put it right in this little microchip slot that I've soldered everything up to. And I've got a battery pack here that'll hook up once it's all ready. And uh, we'll see how it looks. And if it works, I'll install it in the pumpkin. Let's get this thing all, all programmed up. For me, the most intimidating part of this whole project was actually programming the microcontroller. Now, this is made pretty easy with the STK500, which is about $80, and um, is this little board right here. You plug this in, and you attach it with a USB to serial converter, and then you load up the software to your PC. Now, you want to make sure to upgrade the firmware, because otherwise you spend about three hours becoming very frustrated. Once you've done that, it's actually quite easy, and you, um, you upload the programs that you download off the website right here, and then you go ahead and you go up to the build, and you actually click build, and it takes the program and it turns it into um, a hex file, which is a computer language, and then that file, you go ahead and you press the AVR button, which connects it to the actual machine here, and then you go ahead and you search for the hex file, and then you click program and it actually it goes and it starts making this little blue thing go across and it starts programming it. You know you're doing something right when the, uh, the little LEDs flash down here. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Once it's programmed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it out of here with some screwdrivers on both sides so I kind of ease it out and I don't mess up the little legs. Let's see, what else can I tell you? Okay, it's, well, it's actually all done. So it's all programmed now. Now I can take it out and put it in the, um, the array of LEDs here in the little slot and I'll turn off the lights and we'll see if it works. Okay, here we go, switching on. Oh, cool. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got LEDs that are moving around and they're mimicking a program that's kind of famous called the Game of Life where you have these little LED critters that move around and they meet other LED critters and mate and uh, eventually everything gets filled up. Uh, what it looks like though is right now it's just moving around. Now I still have a bunch more like experimenting to do and I have to learn a lot more about programming but right now I've got this thing hooked up. I programmed the program that I found online at craftscene.com and it's actually working. Now I need to install it into the pumpkin. Okay, I'm all set here and there is, it's gonna start going across here and uh, it's kinda slow, but it works. As it was, I had to drill holes in here and then I added a bunch of straws that I cut up so that the light would shine out. And then I had to stuff this thing and match it all up. 
I have to admit, it would have been a lot easier if I'd had a much bigger pumpkin to work with because it wouldn't have been so cramped inside this pumpkin. Okay, you can do this. Go out and get the parts. Go out and get the controlling, the programmer for the microcontroller and put it all together. I'm Bree Pettis for Make Magazine and Craft Magazine, and you've watched another Weekend Project podcast. Go out there, get some pumpkins, cut them up, make a cool LED array, and have a great weekend.